Hello, my friends. Welcome to another English class. We're going to start with the with the class number nineteen. It means that we have just one more class. So the topic for tonight is describing policies and procedures. That's the topic for tonight. Um, I guess the rest of the participants are going to connect in a moment. Hello, I'm having some difficulties. Creo que estoy teniendo un par de dificultades con, con la señal. Let's uh, check. Vamos a revisar. Daniel, hello. Present teacher. Hello. Thank you. Can you hear me? ¿Puedes escucharme? Yes, right. Yeah. Everything sí, okay. Teacher. Thank you, thank you. Vamos a ver acá. Tenemos también a Eduardo. Hi, Eduardo. Hi, teacher. Okay, that's perfect. You're available. Okay, uh, here we have like a listener, like Kathy. Here we have also Susie and Rosalie. We're going to wait a little bit. So, vamos a esperar un poco más.
Well, um, the topic for tonight is describing policies and procedures. And this is the class number uh, 19. It means that tomorrow we finish the course, okay? So that's uh, really, uh, well, that those are positive news. Buenas noticias, because we're about to finish this, okay? So, well, to start, here we have what happens if you're late. So that's one of the, the questions uh, that we have here. Maybe as your answers, um, uh, you're, I need you to tell me what happens if you're late. I mean, if your working hour is from 8 a.m. and you are arrived at 8.30, because sometimes maybe five minutes can be acceptable, or yeah, like three minutes, but 10, 15, or I don't know, maybe 30 minutes, uh, that could be a problem. So what happens? Do they have like, a, do you have a calling attention? Do you have a, um, salary discount? Do you have uh, extra hour assigned? Or do you maybe uh, your boss argues i mean if if he um maybe he can uh be mad he gets mad okay i needed to tell me uh, you have like different um environments different personalities of your uh, boss, supervisor, manager, coordinator. So what happens if you are late for work? ¿Qué pasa si llegan tarde? I'm going to be checking this in the chat. Okay. Uh, I need you to tell me in the chat what happens, okay? And then we're going to check all your answers. I know that you have like different uh, situations. Maybe there are some supervisors or managers or bosses that they are like very empathic or they can understand why you can be late, but there are some others that they don't, they are very serious or they can get mad because of that. Okay, I'm going to be checking. Well, 
here we have different answers because you have different types of supervisors or superiors. So let's see, Guillermo says, calling attention. Okay, that, that, that is not that bad, right? Uh, Eduardo says, calling attention as well. Well, Guillermo says, salary discount, that both, right? Salary discount or calling attention. Guillermo, how this happens? I mean, how much time are you permitted for arrive late? Five minutes? Three minutes? Ten minutes? In the case mm. of salary discount? Or you, you have to arrive on time? Definitely. Hello. Uh, uh, working in that company. Okay. They said to me that I can be late there um, three minutes. Okay, three minutes. Okay, the must. The okay. must, but that changed around two or three years ago. And then if you if if you went late to the to the work, they discount that time. I mean at the end of the month they they make the the count uh, mm -hmm. how much time do you have uh be late in late, your okay. work. Uh-huh. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah it's, of, uh, mm -hmm. they, they, they count the minutes. Or oh, they count, yeah, the times that you have arrived late and then you have like your monthly discount and you can see it, right? Where when they deposit on, on the bank or in the check, and you notice the difference, definitely. So, okay, thank you, Ian, very, very uh, good point. Daniel, Daniel says, if I accumulate 30 minutes late in 15 uh, days, they... The seventh is discounted. Okay. 30 minutes and 15 days. Yeah, that's difficult, Daniel, because sometimes because of the traffic jam or some other things, you can arrive late. Yeah. So you, you can go late or you can be late 25 minutes and no problem. 25 minutes in 15 days in 15 days, no problem. No problem. Okay, but 30 minutes, yeah. That's another level, right? Okay. The seventh, okay, that that that's that's complicated because that that's uh, well uh, a big quantity. Eh, Rosalie uh, okay, Rosalie, thank you for informing. Gracias por comentarme. Eh, John. Okay, good for you, John. You have never been late, right? Because of the way of work. Yeah, that depends. There are some people, for example, that they uh, start working at 7 a.m., 8 a.m. That's like very common. But sometimes there are some others that they work at night. So they can go like uh, relaxed. They can travel and go to work with less pressure. I'm, I mean, of pressure. Right, John? Is that your case? You work at yes. night? Yes. Yes. Um, sometimes um, I have a read at 8 in the morning. Uh, what my boss has to, to do is wait. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's it. But commonly, what time do you start working? You're working at... Uh, hours yes no what yes, but what time what oh, time? depends um, uh -huh. 6 6 a.m and finally at 6 p.m oh, okay that's 12. It. 12. 12 hours okay thank you john thank you so much yeah david 
says, once nothing happens, you just have to apologize to the boss. Of course, yes. If it's very constant, a personal action. Okay, yeah. But good for you, David. So, once, no, no, no problem, right? But you have okay, to say, hello. You have to, hello, you have to say the reason, right, David? Yes, in my own teacher, uh, once nothing happens, uh, twice or more, there is a verbal, very constant, a uh, personal action. Okay, that's it, a personal action, okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay, very, I guess that that's good, but you have to take care of, of that uh, opportunity, right? To, to, to be late. Okay, so that's it. Thank you. Rosalisa is calling attention, but we try to make up for the time by, by leaving later. Yeah, it's kind of compensation when sometimes you, you are late, so you have to compensate with time, with some minutes uh, in your when, when you're finishing your your day. Katia uh, hello Katia. Hi teacher, good evening. Thank you. Return repayment, call of attention, salary discount. Three of them, las tres de esas. Three of Three of the options. In my case, in my case, yes. <laughs> okay. How how much how much how much time can you be late? ¿Cuánto tiempo puedes estar tarde? One minute, two minutes, five, or not nothing. Um, thirty minutes, and I must mm -hmm. always thirty minutes late. Come on, Katia. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yes. <laughs> well, sometimes, believe me, that that's something that you, we can improve. We can improve. But sometimes yes. there are some some cases in which it's not your fault. But if you <laughs> arrive always, yeah, maybe you can uh, get up earlier. I know it is dif difficult. It is kind of, uh, well, complicated. And Gustavo says, Calling attention and salary discount, okay. Yeah, I guess uh, when we have a, sil a salary discount, that hurts, Eso duele. That, that, that's really terrible, right? Nobody wants mm -hmm. a salary discount, right? Okay, well, I'm going to check the attendance list. Here we have, Five ways to say happy birthday. Okay, we can say many happy returns of the day. Many more happy returns. I wish you a wonderful birthday. Have a fabulous birthday. Wishing you many more candles to blow. So please say hi, hello, good evening. Okay, because I'm going to call you one by one. Okay, we start with Adi. I don't know. Well, Adi is not here, right? Christy, are you there, Christy? Well, maybe not. Luisa? I don't know if we have Luisa. Well, if not, Andre Pardo? No. Rivas? I don't know if Rivas is here. Sometimes he's very punctual. Okay, um, Daniel, yes, right? Hi, I wish you a wonderful birthday. Thank you. David, you go, hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Wishing you many more candles to blow. Thank you. Evelyn, Karina, hi. Okay, maybe not. Guillermo, hello there. Present teacher. Hello. 
uh, have a fabulous uh, birthday. Mm, okay, thank you. John, what about you? Yes, I, yes, I can participate. Okay, uh, good evening, Michelle. Good evening, every, everyone. Um, here I am. I choose, uh, I wish you a wonderful birthday. Perfect, thank you. Katia. Present. Uh, many more happy returns. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Maritza, what about you? Good evening. Many more happy returns. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Eh, Noé, Gustavo. Okay, Gustavo. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, many happy returns of the day. Mm, okay, thank you. Oscar Daniel. Okay, maybe not. Eduardo, yes, right, Eduardo. Yes. Okay. Uh, I wish you, you have a wonderful birthday. Okay, good. Nice. Um, let's see who else. Well, Rosalie is not available by now, but later uh, she's going to participate. Susie, I don't know. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Rosalie. Yes. I wish you a wonderful birthday. Perfect. Thank you. To see, no, right. Okay. Well, let's move to this. And here we have. Well, um, if you notice, uh, here we have this part. This is like similar equation that we were discussing. What happens if an employee in your company shows up late? What do you do when you are sick and you can work? Okay, definitely. We have just two options. Or you ask for permission or you go to work even sick. Okay, so that's it. Well, um... And in this case, here we have a conversation about Brad and Annie. Let me check. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, the conversation is, I don't know why this PowerPoint is failing. Recently, I have had some problems with PowerPoint. I don't know why. But anyway. Okay, here we have this Brad and Annie. It says, hi Annie, how is it going? Hello Brad, I'm fine and you, I am okay. Thanks, look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a working doesn't come to work? Annie says, well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. So in this case, well, Brad is kind of late. So show up is... Like, aparecer tarde. Mm, I don't, we don't have like, the, we don't have like new words in here, right? But yeah, practically it is focusing on the word symbols, las palabras que están con negrita, when, if, that we're going to study in a moment. Maybe Maritza can send this screenshot. I will 
appreciate, please. And the teacher. thank you, Maritza, as always, you're very fast. Okay, so um, let's move. I'm going to check here. Okay, my friends, see you in a moment. Let's practice. Remember to interchange dialogues so you can have like more practice. And remember, in this case, here we have, hi, Annie, how's it going? So in this case, you can change the name. Okay, remember, instead of Annie, in lugar de Annie, in lugar de Brad, instead of Brad, you can use, of course, your real names. It's better. Okay, please accept the request and see you in a couple of minutes. Teacher, no pude entrar a sala porque estoy desde el teléfono. No sé si mm, me puede ver. Pero te llegó la solicitud. Sí, lo que pasa es que como estoy desde el teléfono, quizás lo, lo apreté otra cosa y dice... Ahí está, te la, ahí te la voy a enviar ahorita. Ah, ok, sale tres. Uh -huh, ya. Yeah. Hi, teacher. Sorry, me sacó mi internet. No problem. Ya, yeah. quiero ver. Ok. Mm, ya veo. Mira si puedes entrar ahora.
Okay, my friends, welcome back. Here we have, um, definitely we have a conversation here. Maybe we can have John and Maritza's pronunciation, please. Okay. okay, let's begin. Um, hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? I'm okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you what does your boss do when I work it doesn't come to work? Well, if, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her. And when the person returns, he or she recites a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Uh, thanks, Amy. So. In this case, you can check that, well, a notification or warning. Yeah, they are not talking about discount, right? So, thank you, John and Marisa. And we can have uh, Eduardo and Guillermo. Okay. Yes, teacher. Uh, one question, Eduardo. Yes. Can la la el señor de la tormenta parte de mi Se escucha poco su su audio. Sí, go ahead. Okay, I I start. Hi, Annie. How it is going? Hello, Brad. I am fine, and you? I'm okay. Thanks. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Thank you so much. Okay. A very nice pronunciation. Definitely you, all of you have improved. Now, here we have some questions. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here we have on scramble statements below, okay? Let's take a look and then we try to order words and form a sentence. Maybe we can have Katia's participation. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. And then David. Okay, Tatia, are you ready? Or David? In process. John, what about you? Number one. 
Uh, let me see. Um, when the employees arise, she recites a notification. Okay. Sería al revés. She okay. uh -huh, receives. Uh -huh, when. Uh -huh. But the, the, the order is okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Después voy a explicar por qué el when va en medio. Yeah. This is you. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Uh, well, David, uh, well, if David's not ready, or Katia, maybe we can have the participation of Maritza. Okay, Maritza. Okay, teacher. Oh, David. Yeah, este, number two. I, I okay. think, I think, este, what does your boss do a worker doesn't work? Okay. What does your boss do a worker doesn't work? Okay. Yeah, that's it. It is a question. Thank you. Maritza, any idea about number three? Teacher, uh, I have a question. Okay, Rosalind, yes. And the number two, in the world, if I... Is... If. Uh -huh. Ajá. No está, no está en todo lo que es la oración. Mm, no está. Ajá, eso es, obviamente sí, sí tiene que ir así, ¿verdad? Con el if, pero no está para no colocar. Es Ajá. cierto, no está, no está. Ajá. Pero debe de ir. Debe Pero ir tendría ir. que, ajá, tendría que. Error. Ajá. If you notice, we have checked like three mistakes. <risa> en este manual hemos revisado como tres errores. Si se, no sé si se recuerdan. Pero sí, debería de ir. Well, part of. Es que si no, 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 no ha sentido. Pero sí, sí, es cierto. Por automático lo, lo hice. Thank you, Rosalie, for, for, the, for the detail. Okay, let's see number three. If Maritza is ready, if not, me... you tell me, Maritza. Yes? No, teacher. No, okay. Maybe some okay. other participants for number three. And me, teacher, I think is I call my boss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I don't or I I don't work show up or I no sé si don't show up. Two. Uh -huh. Show up. Ah, okay. Eso era lo único. Thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. so this uh, thank you Rosaline. Yeah. Number one. Number one is she receives a notification when the employee arrives late. Number two, what does your boss do if a worker doesn't go to work? Uh, work doesn't go to work. And number three, I call my boss if I don't show up to work. Okay. We're going to check uh, the explanation of this because you need an explanation, right? But before we go, pero antes de irnos a la explicación, tenemos esta pregunta, que es, how would 
be your life without a smartphone? ¿Cómo sería tu vida sin un eh, teléfono inteligente? So, how would be your life without smartphone? Okay. I would like to know some of your comments of this because uh, technology is like very, it's very wild, it's necessary, but technology is not just smartphone because we have computers, we have tablets, well, tablet similar to sm uh, smartphone, but maybe the uh, internet, we have Bluetooth, we have different types of connection. So, how good be your life without a smartphone? So in this case, uh, well, I need you to text your answer in the chat and then one by one, we're going to be answering. After that, we're going to have some um, exercises uh, about using when or if. Maybe we can say something like this. This is just an example. Definitely it's not the way I think, but it is just for you to have like an idea. It would be, sería una vida it would be a boring life with no time. It's just an idea. I'm not saying that I think, or that's my opinion. Uh, it is just one example, how you can express your point of view related to this. Okay, I'm going to be checking your ideas. I guess we have like different points of view. Okay, and let's listen to some of your opinions. I consider that they are like very interesting. Daniel, you say it would be better. Mm -hmm. Interesting, why do you say that? Do you consider uh, mm, you yeah, to have a yeah. better life? Uh, I think that has a advantage and the advantage because it can be 
Is for good or for evil? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. It could be for good or for evil. Okay, thank you so much. Um, maybe we can have now Rosalie. Okay, what about your opinion? For me, it would be more difficult since I use it for everything. Um, I think about the reality that we like. Okay, yeah. Uh, the, okay, uh, more difficult. Well, I guess the, the smartphone, it is like a working tool for some people, right? So it makes easier life uh, related to work, for example. So that's it, Rosalie. Uh, she says it could be like more difficult. Thank you. Um, John, you go. What about uh, this point? Yeah, for me, sorry, um, for me, it would be quite calm without accident. Why? Um, I observe the irresponsibility of many, many people even to walk and across the street, very, this, uh, how do you say, distraído? Distracted. Distracted, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, as you say, well, a lot of people are like checking messages, but there are some people that they are not texting or calling. They are watching videos. Yeah. They are watching videos and it's <laughs> like, I know that sometimes there are some uh, important or emergency calls. Yeah. Um, you shouldn't use your cell phone when you are driving, but yeah, people, they don't care about it. So a lot of accidents is because of destructive people. Yeah. I agree. Thank you. So uh, it will have, we will have less accents. Thank you. Guillermo and then Eduardo. Okay, Guillermo, what about you? Okay. Uh, it will be different because you can do other things to spend your time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, you mean your free time? The free time that you have or in general? I think in general, because okay. in, in, in today, well, in, in this time that we live, we spend a lot of time with the with the cell phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the 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 cell phone consumes a lot of our time. Maybe we can yes. practice some healthy habits, right? Maybe practice a sport. If we count all the minutes that we spend on the cell phone, uh, yeah, we could have like maybe two hours a day, right? Or three or more, I don't know. I'm talking about when you check it for entertainment. That's different when a person is working through the cell phone. But thank you, Guillermo. Eduardo and David. Uh, I, I, I think it would be a life with more um, people in public. Okay. Okay, with more. Yeah. Maybe one example of this could it be some posts on Facebook or, or in uh, social media in general. There are some people that they they click on fun. They love of yes. some people suffering. There are some sad pictures and people are like laughing. They, it, it, it looks like funny for them. Uh, that's uh, something that, that is terrible because a lot of people don't respect 
like sad moments or accidents, difficult moments. So, yeah, could it be, Eduardo? More empathic, maybe. David and Maritza. Okay, David. Look, teacher, uh, I think at uh, this time we are used uh, to having a smartphone. If we did not have, we would take more time to do many activities. For example, shares for a location, save notes, make a calculation, etc. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, uh, you, you, your point is related to the functions that a cell phone has, right? Uh, we can we save money through the cell phone. That okay, and that that's true. Uh, if we notice, there are a lot of tools in a cell phone that are really useful. Okay, yeah, for example, Waze or Google Maps, and a person who is uh working on delivery products or food, it is easier, okay, to get to the right place. I don't know if you remember, yeah, you remember all of you. In the past, when we had to look for a place, uh, it could be by bus or driving or riding a motorcycle, we had to ask to, to people, uh, excuse me, do you know this address? Excuse me, do you know uh, how can I get to the to that uh, building, to that office? So we spend more time, at least in this point, traveling or moving from one place to other. Thank you, David. Maritza and then Evelyn. Okay, Maritza, we want to listen your point. I think I can live like this, but it will be complicated in some case, such as communication with family and friends. Yeah, and actually, if we compare the communication that we have now uh, with uh, co the communication we used to have like uh, 15 or 20 years ago, it is really, really different. Uh, in, For example, you are living in another country and now that, uh, well, these people, they, they, they have like better communication, they can have video calls or even uh, ready for emergencies and a lot of aspects. And that's, uh, as you say, yes, we can live without cell phones because in the past we used to live, yeah, without the level of technology that we have now, but definitely it will be complicated because now we are accustomed, estamos acostumbrados, we are used to. So that's it, Evelyn and Gustavo. Okay, Evelyn, what about you? It will be normal. Maybe I will be more connected with myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, practically, um, we have less time uh, to, to do some things that is related to mental health. A veces no tenemos mucho tiempo para la actividad de salud mental en different aspects to help ourselves, right? So that's it. Eh, Gustavo, what about you? You are the last one. Okay, teacher. Este, I think that the light will be better because we share more time with our families. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Mm, I, I have the, seen the technology. The technology is very important as long as it is used responsibly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we have to be responsible, as you say, with the technology. Um, even one example is this: you are having dinner with your family. And you are talking about any topic. And do you remember in the past when the lights went out, cuando se iba la luz, and the television was off, turned off because no electricity. So at that time, you could have a, a space or a period of time in which you could talk with your family, like directly. Now it, the lights can go out 
but you have your cell phone or even you're having lunch or dinner and people are, uh, it's always uh, texting or so, doing something like that. And so it is like difficult for some to, to have a normal conversation or a profound conversation. Thank you, Gustavo. Thank you so much. Okay, let's move to the grammar point related to um, how to use if and when to join clauses. Quiere decir que utilizamos when y también utilizamos la palabra if para unir oraciones. Okay. If it's a conditional. La palabra if significa sí, pero es una condición. It's a conditional. What I mean. ¿Qué me refiero? Mm, si estudias mucho, entonces sacaré buenas notas. Si te portas bien, te compro un sorbete. Si llegas tarde, te descuento. Es una condición. Si tal cosa, entonces pasa algo más. Hay un resultado. There's a result of that if clause. Okay. In comparison, yes, it's an exclamation and it is C for an answer. Es, es C, pero de una respuesta afirmativa. Yes. No podemos decir, do you like some coffee? Would you like some coffee? No, vamos a decir, if, if. No, no podemos decir eso. ¿Verdad? Decimos, yes. If es solo para oraciones condicionales. Ok. So, maybe we can have this. I would like to have. John, could you help me please uh, by reading the explanation? Yes. This is the explanation. Okay. Okay. When? When, uh, when uh, if have similar meaning, we use when for usual usual situation and is for unusual situation. Um, but uh, how do you say close? Closest. 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 How do you say? Be in simple present. Use a uh, when, if, or when. Come at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm, Permítame que estoy teniendo dificultades. Si me corto o me quedo así como eh, paralizado, me avisan porque creo que estoy teniendo dificultades con mi internet. Ok. So, thank you, John. Ok. When and if, they are similar. Son similares. Solo que when es cuando, if es si. We use when for usual situations. Ok. When for usual situations. And we use if for unusual situations. Por situaciones que no son usuales. When para cosas que sí pasan normalmente y para cosas que casi no pasan. Both clauses dice que tienen el siempre están en presente. Utilizamos coma cuando if or when come at the beginning. Si when va al inicio, al igual que if, aquí tenemos una coma. Here I have an example. Here I have another example. Can you notice the coma? Escriben la coma. Solo si when o si la palabra if va al inicio. Ya vamos a hacer un par de oraciones con estas, ¿ok? So, uh, let's listen to some of the these uh, examples. Maritza, could you read the first two examples? Léeme los primeros dos ejemplos que tenemos acá. What do you do? Maritza, hello. Hello. ¿Me escuchas? Tenía para el micrófono, sí. Ah, estabas hablando contigo misma. Ok, I'm sorry. Sí. 
please. What do you do when you forget your tools for work? Mm -hmm. Next. And what do, you, what do you do if you miss the company transportation? Okay, that's it. Aquí tenemos el inicio con el what do you do? Okay, ¿qué haces cuando? ¿Qué haces si? Okay, thank you. Let's move with Gustavo. Help me with the, the other ones. Okay, de ya. Mm -hmm. I have for a breakup set when I forget my thoughts. Mm -hmm. I call a taxi if I miss the company transportation. Okay, thank you. So if you notice the the first ones, the, the two sentences that Maritza read, this it's a question and this is the answer. In this case, this is a question, and definitely here we have the answer. Thank you. And we're going to listen to and Guillermo, could you help me please with the last sentences? Okay, when I forget my tools, I ask for a backup set. Okay, if? Okay. If I miss the company transportation, I call a taxi. Okay, that's it, thank you. So basically this is the, this is the, Here we have like um explanation, but here we have a worksheet and we're going to work on this. Zero conditional if, when, present simple. Okay, let's check this. Aquí tenemos, when it rains, the grass work, uh, grows. O podemos decir, if it rains, the grass grows, okay? Por ejemplo, when it rains, cuando llueve, eh, la grama crece. O si llueve, la grama crece. Aquí tenemos main cloud, significa la oración principal. Y aquí tenemos la if clause, o también se le llama when clause, ¿ok? Que es if it rains o when it rains. Here we have the zero conditional is used to talk about things that are always or generally true. It is also used to talk about scientific facts. Entonces, algo bien importante es que when we use this, we use it in present. Lo utilizamos en presente, number one. Number two, it talks about things that are always true. Como que casi siempre son verdad. Or generalmente, or generally, they are true. Okay, so... Here we have match the clauses below. Tenemos, vamos a unir estas oraciones. Here we have number one. If I am late for class, B, my teachers, my teacher gets angry. If I am late for class, coma, my teacher gets angry. So this is already taking. I need you to read all of this. Please uh, try to be prepared with two or three sentences because remember that your partners are going to participate. And in some cases, they can or they could take the sentence you were thinking of to participate. I'm going to give you some time. Le doy un poco de tiempo. Luego les pregunto. Okay? Take a look. Revisamos.
Okay, let's check um, the answers. You tell me if you have your, your sentence, raise your hand, levate la mano, un emoji o algo, and you tell me, and we're going to start working on this. We have just too much. Rosalie, what number? Okay. Yes. Okay. It's number, number two. Mm -hmm. When he stays up very late and the letter is if he is very tired the next morning. Okay. Okay. Yeah, when he stays up very late, he's a return next morning. Thank you, Daniel and then Guillermo. The number nine. Mm -hmm. If I miss the bus, literal E, I take a taxi to work. Definitely. Yes, I take a taxi to work. Mm -hmm. Of course, thank you, Guillermo and David. Okay, number four, if you study hard, and the answer is letter M, you get good grades in a school. Mm -hmm. Okay, you get good grades. Yeah, in school. Thank you. Uh, David, right? Okay, teacher number 14. 14. Mm -hmm. When I am sad, uh, I watch a funny movie. Leader. What letter? K. K. Okay. Thank you. John. Okay, uh, let me see which second shoes and um, number number six mm -hmm. when I cross the street um letter B I always look left and right. Definitely. Very nice. Evelyn, please. Number if I miss the bus, the bus, little D, when he's happy. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, pero esa, la novia le hicieron, if he miss the bus, es, I take a taxi to work. Okay, okay. He always smiles. Yeah. Okay, ah. Okay, he always smiles. When? He's happy, right? Thank you. Okay, very nice. I'm going to do this. I'm going yes. to mark. Thank you. I'm going to mark the ones that are already already taken. And I'm going to mark here as well. So we can have confusions or difficulties. Daniel, do you have some other or Guillermo? The number three. Mm -hmm. People get angry if they don't eat. Eat at all. Hey. <laughs> if they don't, yeah, practically this is true, especially in the morning. When people sometimes they don't got they don't have they don't get coffee, <laughs> they're really uh, angry. Okay, mm, and hungry and angry. Guillermo, you have some other and then Gustavo. Okay, 
Okay. Uh, number 10, when you make lots of noise, and the answer is letter G, the librarian gets angry. Okay, could it be? Thank you. Gustavo, your turn, and then David. Okay, I always take my umbrella uh, we, when it rains. Okay, uh, I need you to tell me what, 13. I always take my umbrella in what letter? Uh, J. When it rains. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to open this. Thank you. David, are you ready with some other? Number 15, teacher. Number when 15. he cleans the house, leader L, he listens to music. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, actually, this is a very good practice. You can uh, take advantage of the time listening to music and cleaning the house. Really good idea. Daniel, do you have some other? Yeah, the number five. Number five. When he watches the movie, he, she likes to eat popcorn. With the wrong eye. Uh, uh, okay. I. Okay. Yep, the number five, number literal I. Okay, thank you. John, do you have some other? Yeah, 11. Mm -hmm. he, he tastes sweet um, if you add some sugar. Okay, if you add some sugar, letter N. Letter N. Thank you. Maritza, you have some? Number 12. Mm -hmm. You should eat less if you want to lose weight. Mm -hmm. Letter H. If you want to lose weight. Yeah. Well, uh, that's true. You have to... You have to eat less. Thank you. Well, finally, letter, what, well, number seven, right? I can't do my homework. And if I don't have my glasses. Okay. Thank you, my friends. So, practically, we completed this. And uh, if you notice, it is kind of logical related to the related to the sentences, related to the uh, use of when and use of, use of if. So what we're going to do in this moment, we're going to do this activity. Okay, we already started this. You can use when or if, and even you can use uh, the first part of the question. Okay, it says write a short program about policies and procedures at your workplace. Use if and when. Okay, maybe we can use two sentences. If and when related to procedures or policies. For example, if you work extra hours, you have extra money. Or when you get late, uh, you receive uh, a warning, como lo que estuvimos diciendo, ¿verdad, Inicio? 
or if you do your work, you get a escalation, receive un ascenso. If you invent gossips, uh, you have problems with the supervisors, inventas chambre o chismes, tienes problemas con el supervisor. So we can use one sentence with when or if, okay? Let's see. If you The other is when of course this is just a example. Okay. Uh, ejemplo. Si no usas el, el material, uh, si no utilizas casco. Eh, puedes tener un accidente o recibes una advertencia if you don't explain why you're late si no explica por qué estás tarde tú recibes una un aviso si no entregas las cosas a tiempo ok so let's try to do two sentences it says write a short paragraph dice que escribamos un párrafo corto pero but with two sentences, con las dos oraciones estaríamos bien. Ok, los espero en el chat. Ya les envío el ejemplo. You can uh, invent some others. Pueden inventar otras si ustedes pues, las quieren.
Okay, let's read some of the sentences we have. We're going to start with John, please. And then Eduardo. Yeah, yeah. My sentence is, um, is you are a man and you are right with um, earrings, they call your attention. Perfect. And number two, when you don't wear safety bots, you can have an um, accident. Perfect. An excellent use of comma. Thank you. Eduardo and then Janelle. Please, Eduardo. Okay. If I learn English, I have better opportunities. And mm -hmm. second, when I drive with calm, I feel better. That's good. Thank you, Eduardo. Very nice. Daniel and David. If you don't know, if you do done working, you don't pay the bill when the receipt arrives. Okay. If you don't put in your dreams now, when will you do it? Hmm. Yeah, it's it's good. Thank you. Well done, David and Rosalie. Okay, teacher number one. If you continue to be late, you will be burned. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, when you eat in the cafeteria at work, you must leave the table clean. Clean, yeah, and even that, that that's something that could be applied for every place, right? But yeah, good example. Rosalie and Oscar Daniel. When I'm late in my workplace, I receive a warning. If I make a lot of noise in the office, I receive a call attention. Mm -hmm. Good one. Thank you. Oscar and Guillermo. Okay, teacher. Uh... If you pay attention in the meeting, you will understand the situation. Okay. Uh, when you work better, you will decide more money. Perfect. That's it. I like it. And Guillermo and Marie. Okay. If you come late to, to work, they are going to give you some warnings. When you do a good job, your boss can give you gift cards. Okay, it sounds good. Gift cards sounds good. Okay, now let's go with Marita, please. If you were the plant, the plant grow. And when you sleep early, you read more. Yeah, definitely. What else? Okay, thank you. Okay. Now let's see what else do we have here. Okay, my friends, we have just two more activities. Solo tenemos dos actividades más. Just one question. Vamos a ver. Maritza, ¿puedes escucharme? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Two more questions. Not two more questions. One more activity. Okay, here we have a zero conditional with if. Okay, look at this. And here we have this. Discuss the questions below with your partner. Number one, what happen, What happens if you don't study for the test? 
Okay, that's a very simple question. Number two, what happens if you eat too much candy? Uh, three, what happens if you always smile and say hello to people? Four, what happens if you don't drop a glass on the floor? And so on. So I need you to select two of these questions and ask to your partner. So pregúntenle dos de estas, okay? And you take notes of that answer. Y por favor, Tomen nota de las respuestas. Then we come back and we're going to present that. Okay. Here we have 10 options. Tenemos 10 opciones. Solo eh, vamos a preguntar dos a su compañero y su compañero le va o compañera le va a preguntar dos. Okay. Maritza, could you please help me in sending this picture, please? Me ayudes enviando la imagen. Thank you so much. Okay, remember, uh, just two, two questions, and then we come back. Okay. So, um, see you in a couple of seconds. Lo veo un par de minutos. Okay, please go. Take notes. Acuerden tomar nota. John, do you have difficulties? Tiene dificultades con la solicitud?
Okay, my friends. Mm, I'm sorry. Me dio un ataque de tos. Okay, I need to share one. Okay. <clears throat> Cosa que pasa. Bien, necesito que me compartan una, please. One of these questions and the answer that your partner gave you. Y la respuesta que le dio su compañero. Y con eso vamos a ir terminando, ¿ok? Vamos a ver aquí en el chat. And this is going to be the, the last activity. Esta va a ser la última actividad. Sí, sí. Only, only, pues, only, um, la respuesta es only. Eh, sería la, la pregunta y la respuesta. Solo una. Mm -hmm. Only oh. one. The okay. question okay. and the answer. Y yo tomaría eso con, como la, la asistencia. Okay, please. Tell me one. Si no pudieron estar con un compañero porque estaban con, como listener, pueden inventarse la respuesta. Ok, no problem. Okay, here we have the answers. Let me check. Okay, Maritza, could you read yours, please? And then David. If Rosalind meet red and blue paint, she will get purple paint. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. David, you go. And then Eduardo. Okay, teacher. Uh, my partner was Daniel. <clears throat> Question okay. number five. Number five, what happened if, if you watch a sad movie? Uh, the answer, when Daniel see a sad movie, he get emotionality, emotionally bad. Emotionally bad. Okay, thank you. Nice. What about Eduardo? Uh, the number seven, uh, what happened if Gustavo thrown a piece of wood into a fire? The answer where is it's burning. Okay, it's burning. Thank you. And Rosalie and Daniel. And the question is number five, what happened to what a sad movie? And Marisa said if if she watched a sad movie, she cried. Okay, and Maritza is very sentimental. Thank you. And Daniel, please. Yeah, maybe Dan started for the exam. He just failed the subject. 
Okay, thank you so much. Okay, I'm waiting for the rest. Eh, recuerden, recuerden que el día de mañana es la última sesión. No vayan a faltar, please. Es la última clase y ya estaremos terminando. Recordarles tres cosas. Uno, hay que determinar las tareas para el día de mañana. Tareas completas uh, ya para, uh, para la clase. <coughs> De preferencia antes de la clase. Ok. Tres terminadas. Dos. Eh, el examen final. The final test. El examen final no se les olvide. ¿Verdad? Y tres. Mañana vamos a realizar la encuesta de satisfacción. Que siempre se hace. Al finalizar cada módulo. Entonces esto consiste en que le va a llegar información a su correo. Y si no le llega esa información a su correo. Pues no se preocupen porque yo voy a. Voy a proporcionarles la información que necesita, ¿verdad? Si no les llega la información al correo, no hay problema. Si les llega el celular, a WhatsApp, está bien. Eh, recuerden, por favor, no hacer la, la, la encuesta antes. No la hagan, sino que la vamos a hacer todos juntos. La vamos a hacer todos juntos, este... Al mismo tiempo, porque así nos piden los lineamientos con Insafor que la hagamos al mismo tiempo, todos juntos, paso a paso, ¿verdad? Los que estuvieron conmigo en el módulo anterior ya saben a, a lo que me refiero, ¿verdad? Que tenemos que ir haciendo paso por paso, aunque nos tardemos, porque esas, esas encuestas solo se puede hacer una vez. Y si no se hace bien, van a tener problemas con el tema administrativo de Insafor. Y eso es lo que personalmente quiero evitar, que ustedes no tengan problemas con la encuesta o que eso les vaya a dar dificultades para que ustedes se puedan inscribir al siguiente módulo, ¿ok? Y aquí tenemos la última. Gustavo, podría leer la tuya? Luego Oscar Daniel y ya terminamos. Please, Gustavo. Okay, Okay, teacher. Uh, what happens if you play video games for 10 hours? I didn't feel the time. Thank you. Oscar Daniel and Christy. Okay, teacher. Uh, what happens if you fall fly? Uh, okay. I will fly very high to a distant country. Okay, perfect. In Christy, are you ready? Is that lista para leer la tuya, Christy? Um, yes, teacher. <clears throat> what ha what happens if Christina eat too much candies? Uh, she, the negar she mm -hmm. get hyper. <laughs> okay, that's true. Okay, thank you, my friends. Have a good night. Pasen feliz noche. Gracias por sus oraciones. Good night. Sus oraciones. Good night completas, ¿verdad? Nos vemos mañana, última clase, no se la pierdan, ¿ok? Ok, Good night. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night.